Hi guys, uh, this is Mani Maran. Today we are going to talking about acceleration diagram and the velocity diagram. First of all, we know an engine mechanism is shown in figure. The crank CB is 100 mm, BA equal to 300 mm. The crank shaft has a speed of 75 radian per second and angular acceleration of link CB is equal to 1200 rpm so radian per seconds. so first of all we go to uh, solve velocity diagram first of all uh, C is fixed so uh, velocity of BC equal to angular acceleration of BC into BC so already we know that 75 into BC is equal to 0 0.1 equal to velocity of BC is equal to 7.5 meter per second so we find velocity of dc is equal to 7.5 so now the perpendicular axis velocity of uh, velocity of bc in the perpendicular to take a, you take dra draw the vector of cb perpendicular to cb to same suitable scale to represent the ve uh, velocity of b with a re respect to c or velocity of b such that so 7.5 the perpendicular of bc to 7.5 so it's b and then it joined CB and then you have to join so we construct by measurement so its velocity of B its velocity of a B B A the velocity of A such that is equal to uh, H by measurement into four meter per second the velocity of B is equal to 5.1 meter per second it's also we noted 7.5 meter per second okay then the angular angular velocity of AB angular velocity of AB equal to velocity of AB divided by AB equal to the angular velocity of AB is equal to 4 meter per second and then original distance of AB is equal to 0 0.3 meter so on 13.3 uh, radian per second in the clockwise direction ok then next we go for um, acceleration diagram then the C is fixed if. so we know that the radial component of the acceleration of B with respect to C so so here here uh, 
here a radian bc equal to velocity of bc square divided by bc equal to 7.5 whole squared 0.1 equal to 562.5 meter per second square so we we measured 562.5 is important 562.5 divided by 4 is equal to uh, 140 something meter per second the scale reduction is important so first parallel to bc so parallel to bc is a 1 140.6 it's parallel parallel to 140 it's a 140 something 140 something this is a heater line is called b dash so in the second from point b double dash it is a double dash from point b double so draw the vector b double dash and b the perpendicular to vector c dash b double dash r cb to respect the tangential component of the acceleration of b with respect to c for example a tangential bc such that the vector p double dash b dash the vector the vector is also vector which of first one the second one vector b double dash b dash is equal to a tangential bc equal to 120 meter per second square so already we know, know that velocity of b c square and the cb bc bc is equal to 120 meter per second square so 120 mean 120 divided by 4 is equal to 30 120 it's a perpendicular axis 30 it's called b dash so you have joined b and c okay and then next it's a perpendicular to ab so a radian so a radian bc equal to velocity of uh, velocity of ab square divided by ab is to 53.3 meter per second square b dash x it's also called vector b dash x is equal to a radian ab divided by 53.3 meter per second square so B dash x 53 is parallel to B A. B A is parallel to B A. Parallel to B A. Each 53 means 13 point um, 13 point 13 point something 13 something 13 point something. Okay. Each a x. and the next we 
it's a parallel to ac 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 it's parallel to ac and then the perpendicular to ab perpendicular to the ab perpendicular to the ab it's a perpendicular to the ab and then joined it's a a dash b dash it's also a a d and c dash the line a b c b dash x and then a dash it's a a b and then next uh, ab then it had joined is a perpendicular line so it c he called so first of all a step by step procedure first you draw step 1 parallel to bc so and then here parallel to ba a radian db it's here. so it's uh, perpendicular to cb so it perpendicular to ab is parallel to ac and then seventh step perpendicular to b dash x so step 1 joined b dash c dash so it's called 562.5 meter per second square equal 53.3 meter per second square which so is 120 meter per second square which so one for uh, sorry sorry 562.5 meter per second square remaining step so it's angular velocity of angular velocity uh, acceleration now uh, angular velocity of acceleration is equal to b equal to acceleration of tangential b divided by ba equal to 546 divided by 0.31820 radian per second squared in the clockwise direction by measurement so guys uh, thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel and thanks thanks you very much